Hello, time for another video, and in today's video, we're going to be simulating a CNOT gate. Now, first thing we do is click one to create program, and then type in the file name. So we'll just call it CNOT, CNOT.txt. Yep. Okay. So, for those that don't know what CNOT is, basically it's a quantum logic gate, which is it's a NOT gate, but it's controlled by another qubit. So, when the control bit is on, and the output qubit is zero, the output qubit will flip to a one, and then if it's then vice versa, if it's a one already, it will switch to a zero, as long as the qubit um, the control qubit is on. So to do this, we're going to need two qubits and we're going to need to use a coupling. So the first thing we do is we specify a bias for our control qubit. We'll call it, uh, sorry, we'll, we'll use qubit 48 and we'll give it a bias of 0.5. Okay, we'll use 49, however we will use, no we'll use 50, 51. There is a reason why I'm picking certain qubits is because there's certain couplings. Because some qubits aren't connected, but some are. Okay, we'll use 53 and we'll give that a bias of no point. Uh, 0.6. Okay, get rid of that. Okay, so now we need to um, increase the the control qubit over time. So we'll use 48. So we'll need to sorry, we'll need to decrease it. Sorry, um, by minus 0.1. And then leave the rest the same. Okay, now we need to specify our coupling. Um, it'll be the first one. So we'll give that a bias of 0 0.6. Sorry, no, no, no point. Yeah, we'll give it 0 0.6. And then we don't need to use the other couplings. Okay, now we need to specify its rate. We're going to need to decrease it. So we'll decrease it by 0 0.1 each time. And we'll leave it for 12 steps. We should see something happen. Okay, there we are. Oh no. Okay, that hasn't quite worked. I think I know why. Um, okay, we'll take it off and then we'll start again. So it's because I left the the output qubit too high. We'll type it in again. Okay, we'll make that 0 0.6. Okay, we'll delete that one, don't need that one, don't need that one. And we'll give that bias of 0 0.5. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Okay, we'll need to in decrease it over time by 0 point minus 0 0.1. Okay, that's fine. And we'll specify our J bias is the same as our input bias minus 0.6 okay and then we need to decrease it by 0.1 at a time so that is in time with the input qubit sorry control qubit okay 
and now it should work. We'll give it we'll give it twenty steps. Okay, that's worked. So if we go up, we should be able to see at least most of it. Yeah, here we are. So as you can see, um, this is the last one before I got over overwritten by the console. Um, as you can see, the coupling bias is minus 0 0.3, and the control qubit is minus 0 0.4, and it's a naught specified by the minus 1, and the output qubit, which is 53, is also a naught or a minus 1. You see it decreases. But then, when the input, sorry, when the control qubit is put to a 1 because of the J bias, um, qubit 53 is also flipped. So, there's the um, C not gate. So, that's proof that it's working. Now, to um, reverse it, all you need to do is reverse the. Um, you'll need to. Um, Increase the control qubits bias as well as the um, J bias. So that's how you do it, pretty much. So I hope this has been a good video. Um, I'm not sure what I'll do in the next video. I'll do a classical logic gate, like an AND gate, or a. Um, no, I'll do it to Foley gate, which is another quantum logic gate, and then I'll do some classical gates. So I'll see you then.